Hello everybody and welcome. We are here at Dark Hound Auto Care, which is sort of Melchamy, Trowbridgey, uh, Hilperton. Yes, anyway. Wiltshire. Wiltshire, that's the easy way to remember it. It's south of the M4, which is the better side of the M4 to be, trust me. Um, so, we are joined by Matt Coyle, you are the proprietor, founder, owner, MD of Dark Hound. Hello. Um, and it's a pretty exciting time for you at the moment, isn't it? Yes, very, very. Yeah, um, it's good to see you. It is, yeah, it's, it's nice to be down. We're joined also by a Ferrari here. Unfortunately, it's neither of ours, um, but it's one of your very good clients, I yes. believe. Yes, yes, it is. Um, and it's a 458, and a rather nice 458. Is it one of them sporty 458s? It's the Italia. It's the Italia. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm not a Ferrari expert, but it's nice. And it's a nice colour as well. Um, what I want to do today is to chat about you and your business and how it came to be, because you've had some turbulent times of late. It's been a tough year for you. Yes. Um, and it's been a tough year, obviously, for everybody with the whole COVID and, and everything. But for Matt particularly, it's been a, a, a real struggle. But what's nice is that you have taken real opportunity out of these challenges that we've been having. Um, and I think, well, it's pretty clear to see here, but we'll be talking about your units and the developments in due course. But first I want to go back into the, into the mystery of time. Crikey, that's a long way. Yes, it is, it is indeed. Um, you are a petrol head through and through. Yes, yes. What was your first car? My first car was a, uh, a Mini. A oh, proper classic Mini, I'm guessing. Yes, in Mr Bean Yellow. Classy. Was it, uh, what CC, 1275? No, it was a, uh, the full on one litre, well, 998. 998, yeah. proper job, proper uh, job. Yeah, no, it's nice. I, I used to have a 1275 MPI back in the day. But, um, <laughs> I like that car. And strangely, we both fit in minis, despite the fact that we're both of an appropriate height, yes. which is about six foot three and a bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Still love a mini. Still love a mini, yes, indeed. Yeah, six foot three and a bit, six five in heels, etc. Um, so, what was your first car that you kind of loved? Your first sort of hero car, if you like. Um, it's got to be a, a, I had a British Racing Green uh, Triumph Dolomite Sprint. Oh, that was that was nice. What year was that going to be in? Oh, it was a nineteen. That was my second car, so I'd have been eighteen then. Right. So, yeah. Blimey. Way back when. My second car was a Peugeot 306, which dates me somewhat. Right. It was a diesel. <laughs> um, so, and in terms of your favourite dream car, what if you had all the money in the world, what would be your dream car? Uh, AC Cobra. Nice, nice yeah. proper 427, I'm guessing. Yeah, right? any, any day of the week. Proper job. So, yeah, it's just epitomises what cars are all about. You yeah, know. pretty raw, pretty yeah. scary. Yeah. yeah, I've driven a continuation one and, and a little bit of poo came out. <laughs> um, so, uh, you have a background switch enough in IT and networking of all things. Yes, um, yes, originally. We had a great conversation about Cat5 e cables and the importance of shielding and how you know Cat5 6 with the twisted pairs. And yeah, then Bert fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I was just over a route. Um, and, um, and after that, you decided, uh, having been a big petrol head, and I'm guessing big into cleaning cars as well as, yes. as, yeah. as being a petrol head, uh, to start. A, a car detailing and valeting company. Yes. And that was circa? Uh, about 2018. 2018. So pretty recent, uh, kind of three years ago or so. Yeah, yeah. You took that job and um, Dark Hound was born and originally you were mobile, weren't you? Yep, I um, had a little blue Corsa. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a couple of buckets and a wash mitt. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it just started from there. It's the way to start. I mean, so many, now you see them setting up with big funding and people start up with a massive, flashy, great unit and all the rest of it. But I don't know about you, but I've got a lot of respect for people like Matt who have started literally with the very basics and are now sitting in a really nice unit next to a Ferrari. Um, yes. And it shows it can be done after sort of just three years of yeah. hard graft. And bear in mind, one of those years has been a particularly tough because not much has been happening. Correct. Um, so yeah, no, that's really good to see. Um, so when you kind of gone through a phase with units, haven't you? Because this isn't your, or this is your first unit. Second unit, right? Um, originally, I was just down the road, not not far away. Um, I've always been with the race team that's here, yeah. uh, with iTech Racing. So they moved and they invited me with them. And oh, that's cool. Gave me some space to. To do what I do. Do what so. you do. Nice. That sounds good. Um, and your favourite car so far that you've detailed? What's been your like the one that it doesn't have to be a sexy car. It just has to be from a detailing perspective the most challenging and interesting. I think it was. Uh, I did a um, Lotus Esprit mm -hmm. um, limited edition Colin Chapman. Okay. Lotus what, Esprit what, Series Three. Yeah, an S Three. Series Three. So it's, it's going to be GRP. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was. That was more about the client as well as the car. Mm -hmm. um, lovely gentleman, 
and it was just such a passionate about pa his Lotus about his Lotus and cars in general it was just a joy to work on there wasn't a part of the car that wasn't an wasn't. absolute joy to work on. You and don't hear that often about Lotuses, do you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From a mechanic, every yeah. mechanic I talk to. Well, I didn't have to drive it, so it was all oh, right. It was all right, it yeah. stayed there. Um, <laughs> and the reaction from the, from the customer when he picked up his car was just, just what made it for me. That was, yeah. Uh, yeah, were, it was, were there tears? It was a little bit. Of, yeah, a little bit emotional. Yeah, it got a bit emotional. A bit emotional. I think we both did. Yes, <laughs> I know. So, well, cycle forward to now. Yep. And uh, bear in mind, we are in May. 2021. So um, COVID is one of those situations where we've been through 2020, we had the original lockdown and we all felt kind of the world was changing and then we didn't have a lockdown, then we did again and then we kind of had a, a little opening for Christmas and then we had another lockdown and now it's kind of being eased out and everybody's fine apart from this sort of new variant they're talking about up in the north that's yeah, supposed to yeah. ravage us all yet again. I imagine you've had your jabs. I've had the jabs, I've also had COVID as well. So Oh, you've had the double whammy, so yes. you, should be, you should be safe. Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm not eligible for jabs or anything like that yet because apparently I'm young. Yeah, apparently. So, you know, um, but uh, we're, as I said at this point, and you, Explain what happened over the last 12 months from where you were when you first heard the word COVID um, to, to where we are now. Okay, um, yeah, it was back in March last year, wasn't it? Um, Boris announced that we're in lockdown. Um, That's Boris Prime Minister, not Boris the Subaru. <laughs> so I took it, you know, as a lot of other businesses did, I voluntarily closed down. Um, there wasn't any, there was no, ratified way of getting rid of the virus mm -hmm. at that time so it was a case of let's shut down see what happens so we shut down for, for oh, three four months mm -hmm. um, then started back up again um, everything's going great and you were here at that point yes yes yeah um, then it was uh, January 12th of, of this year mm -hmm. um, I got a phone call from the local council saying you're deemed as a car wash um, and therefore you must close with immediate effect. So, yeah, we were closed down. Pretty gutting, and there are other ones that, for un unknown reasons, either continued or even permitted to continue. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, yet, and, and this is in the, within the same county, isn't it? So yes. Yeah. It was very bizarre. Yeah, there's a, bit of, a lot of mixed communication and, and a lot of um, political things going on, I think, but, yeah. you know, we made the decision, we shut down for three months. Well, if they tell you, I mean, we spent a lot of time talking to councils, trading standards and all the rest of it, and we had um, some trading standards offices were desperately trying to find a way that you could work, the, the, the yeah. kind of role we, so to speak, um, around the country, one in Medway, for example, they spent a lot of time with, with members in the area and talking to me, saying, look, this is the legislation, how can we word it and follow kind of the guidance and the spirit and everything and allow people to work? Other ones were very much like, no, nope, car wash, you wash cars, boom, done. And it was really unfair. Yeah, it was really and cut and shut. Meanwhile, in Scotland, you've got them where they are allowed to open. I was never told to shut in Scotland, but there's no financial support or nowhere near the financial support that a lot of people down here get. Um, so it was very, very difficult managing and juggling that situation. Were you eligible for any support? No, I, I was one of the, the unlucky few that slipped through any, oh, um, any financial support at all. What, so even even self-employed SEISS? No, because I hadn't been... You got the tax yeah, return? Yeah, the, the, the two years or three years tax returns. So, God, so real adversity, forced to close and no support whatsoever. Yeah, um, yeah. And yet, as I say, here we are. So what happened? Um, basically, I thought, you know, I've got one chance. Let's put everything I can into the business. Let's get everything sorted how I want it. Um, and I've used that time in the, those three months to really streamline the business mm -hmm. and I'm now taking it where I want to go. So, so it's death or glory and it turns yes. out glory, glory turned up, which is good. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Um, and so what we've done here, I mean, you've kind of, you've more than redecorated. Here, yes. Haven't you? you've, you've, we've built up partition walls that used to be kind of more integrated from what I remember into the motorsport. Correct, yes. Yeah. Now you've got a bit more isolation, which is great from a polishing and coating point of view. Um, and you've got kind of cool lighting going up. We've also we've got kind of LED lighting in the building anyway, but um, Matt's lowered it down so it's the right level. Um, and we've got some wall lighting. How do you find these to detail by? Because they're quite, they look very pretty. They're great for a handover. Do you find them using them on, on machine polishing? Um, generally not. They're more for um, presenting cars afterwards. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're, 
they're fantastic lights, don't get me wrong, but um, for, a, for a detailing point of view, I like to get the lights low and just have one specific light source yes. that I use to, to work on a panel at the time. Absolutely, so. and, and while we're talking about detailing, uh, what's your favourite machine tool? Oh, it's my Flex. Oh, my okay. Flex 3401. 3401, oh, so Force VRG. That's yeah. Do you have the VRG or do you have the, the replacement for the VRG? No, I'm saving up for the replacement, for so, but it's just such a fantastic machine. So and he's used to it going the other direction from every other machine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't take long for it to work out, and now it's just a, a part of me as such. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got some sexy photos of Matt holding his special tool um, and the Flex VRG in front of the uh, garage here, which will be appearing in the next issue of the magazine. Um, so you kind of you thought through, and you, when we were talking before camera started rolling, you said there have been some people, some organisations, some companies who have really helped you, you know, through this tough period. Definitely. Um, and you've shown me a couple of bits and bobs from them. So let's talk about Eurable first, or Eurable. 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 Um, it is a, I'll just give a brief side, it's a, it's a CRM effectively, but it's a much cleverer than that, at the same time as being much simpler to use than some of the bigger CRMs that I've seen before. And it kind of integrates a calendar booking system. Correct. Which your customers can book on directly and that you can then book out from the back end as well yes and you can send links to your customers to say here's your slot you know if you want to yeah confirm. quoting and things yeah. like that yeah so that's kind of funky it's obviously from a crm point of view it's got um all your customer details on that touch of a button for your mobile jobs you're saying it's dead clever because you've got a you've got a man with a band so to speak yes and um when you book a customer in it sends your man uh, the address details and photo a photo of the house of the customer house so he just puts on his, his google maps or whatever his ways and, and and directs that and it then tells the customer um, how long he's going to be based on the sat nav in his motor car so or his motor map it is a very clever system Declan. Declan. Very clever. and it also what you were saying that is how it's so dedicated to detailers rather than being butchered to suit detailers so it's uh, you can do uh, pre-work reports on it with photos yeah inspection reports um, any interactions with the customer, it's it purely focused for, for, for detailing. Um, it also integrates, it's an American system. Mm, Pennsylvania, you said? Yeah, they're from Pennsylvania. Um, it also integrates uh, Carfax. Yes, which is an American. Which, which is an American thing, but we're trying to develop a, a similar system to be used over here. So, That's very cool. um, if a car's ceramic coated, for example, it will, it will appear on that car's service history. Gotcha. And, and yeah, Carfax over here, we don't have an equipment really. The nearest we've got is the MOT history, but that's nowhere near the yeah. same of Carfax. Any car in the States that's on Carfax, when you go and get it serviced, you get it repaired, you've got the whole history, and they include detailing, yes. paint correction, ceramic coating, all yeah. that jazz with it. So yeah. it's a nice touch, and it is something we could do with this in this country, particularly definitely, definitely. the number of smokers that are sold. And not all of them are sold by me. So. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's a very clever piece of software. It digs in with Facebook and with your existing website as well. Yes. And you've gone for the creme de la creme option, so it sticks with your QuickBooks. And yeah, the payroll software. and everything like that. And so. it does payroll as well, yes. so that saves you a good couple of quid a month at least. Yes, yeah, um, definitely. Regardless of what software you're using. So definitely. that's kind of funky. I'm going to look into it. It's, I've Matt showed me on his, on his computer, um, and it looks really, really interesting. And, but and it's, it's nicely set up. It, it was the, it's the service that you get from your able is just fantastic. It's a um, father and his two kids have mm -hmm. developed this system and the customer service is just exemplary you know I had a problem the other day um, got onto the live chat um, Chris one of the uh, founders she said it would be easy if we just had a call mm -hmm. so she phoned me up from Pennsylvania in the afternoon um, and within five minutes the problem was solved and, and move on it was, it was really good Really good. Good to hear. Well, I see quite a lot of new software platforms coming out for various aspects of balloting and detailing. Um, yeah. Usually, they are from fundamental flaws for kind of our part of the market, which is independent owner operators, um, you know, validators and detailers, and they're trying to they try and put you into boxes and segment you and say, right, well, this is the service you can offer, and this is how much you can get paid for it, and this is when you're going to do it, and that doesn't really suit most of our guys. Um, so it's nice to have something that's really there and, and supporting. You're saying how it's turned your business around. Yes. And what's interesting about it, it's not because it's marketed your business to new people, but because not only does your business look more professional with it as a front end, but it's so much easier for them to book and more dynamic. You were saying that on Facebook, you've just put links to the booking link, so to speak, 
on on a Facebook local marketplace or selling place, yeah. um, and you've ended up getting business from it because people are going back. This is slick. Yes, please. And it just saves so much time. Yeah. You know, as much as I love talking to customers and stuff, you do get a lot of tire kickers. Yes. Um, this weeds them out. There's no. Yeah. That process is, is eliminated now and it saves me a lot of time. And it gives you extra protection with the pre-work forms, which we're big on telling everybody to you know, fill in pre-work forms. We do sort of um, carbon copy forms and stuff for our members. Um, but this is also a digital version. So it, when you upload a photo before and after, particularly the after ones, if you get one of those customers who comes along, their car's grand when you've done it. And then two days later, they have a, 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 a punch up in a, in a supermarket with a transit van. Um, and they come back and say, oh, no, that was there, you did that. You've got timestamp photos within a third party piece of software to prove that you didn't. It is clever. Um, and it's an extra layer of protection because your mobile phone will also have sort of GPS timestamping, but you can get around that, so I'm told. Um, so um, we've got your, we've now, from a coaching point of view, you've got quite a bit of experience with different companies. So you've yes. worked with G-Technic in the past. Yes. Um, and you're uh, with IGL at the moment. Correct, yes. Um, are you IGL Kenzo or IGL? Uh, I'm not Kenzo yet. That's, 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 that's my mission. My, yes, that's my big mission. I have to admit, there are lots of detail. Well, there aren't lots of details who use Kenzo, but the, the guys who have used Kenzo and do use Kenzo, they all adore it because it's got the attributes, from what I've told everyone, I'm not a detailer, but it's got the attributes uh, of uh, protection, durability, etc., of other top end coatings, but it's got the ease of application um, of a more kind of retail friendly retail coating. Yeah. Um, and you quite like the, the, the green element to IGL, not just in terms of the Yes, logo. definitely, definitely. Um, you know, over the years, I've, I've, I've started my apprenticeship years ago as a French polisher, mm -hmm. um, working with some really nasty chemicals at the time. Yes. Um, and in the detailing industry, there are also some really quite nasty chemicals are, yes. um, that aren't very good for not myself, my employees, but the environment and everything. Mm. Um, so I was looking for someone or a company that is a bit different and, the, and the, has those green credentials. Yeah, um, and it's, it goes right down to their chemistry. They do have different things. IGL, I believe, stands for I Green Lover or something of that nature. I'm a green lover. Yeah, yeah. Which is, you know, it's, you're basing your whole business or brand, so to speak, on that aspect. Yes. As opposed to paying lip service to it, which I think is a nice touch. Yeah, you know, and their, their products are virtually zero VOCs, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. their plant-based, um, like their panel wipe that they use, pre-coat. Pre yeah. Normally, pre-coat is a solvent and it's, it's, it stinks it's and it's not very stuff, good yeah. stuff. So yeah, the pre-coat from IGL smells boring, it's citrus-based. Gotcha. And it works really well. It does the job, it pulls out all the fillers yeah, and all yeah, and everything. Yeah. yeah. No, that's cool. Um, and you're saying you also you had lots of help from other PBD members and other detailers that you know during the pandemic, you know, um, and especially the three months that I was off um, that we closed January to April. Um, I, I found it very tough. I found it very tough, um, as you know. Detailing is a, a lonely world. It is a lonely world. It can be, um, but. Uh, there were some members from PVD um, that randomly reached out and just checked up to see if I was all right. Yeah. You know, and that, that meant a hell of a lot because you know you're not alone. Yeah. And we're all detailers. We're all going through the same problems. And to be able to share those problems was, was really important to me. Yeah. It really was. And I think those who did so, you know, you know who you are. Yeah, thank you. Exactly, yeah, big thank you. Um, so yeah, no, that's very very cool. And and you're also saying iTech racing, the guys over there who are, who are very kind of being very quiet for us at the moment. Yes. Um, yeah. Despite preparing a what looks like a Rover 25 MG. MG. Yeah. MGZ. ZR. ZR, the little one. Yeah. Um, for racing, it looks very cool. Yeah. Big bricks. They're very keen to get that fired up today. So. Yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, and then in terms of the brands you use, obviously we've done IGL, uh, we've done uh, Flex, but yes. also uh, you're a fan of Carcam. Yes. Yeah, I've been using Carcam from day one really. Mm -hmm. Um, really reliable go-to products. Yeah, um, and you know they make it. <laughs> you, yes. can, you can buy Carcam in many different flavours, but, but when you buy it from Carcam yourself, obviously, yes. you know what you're getting. Yeah. And, and it's good value, and it does, does what it says on the tin. Exactly. What most exactly. people are saying, so that's cool. Um, so, um, you have quite an exciting uh, 
car coming in, which happens to be your dream car. Yes. More so than this, despite it not being worth a tenth of it. Well, probably about a tenth of this. Um, and it's a car you and I have a, have a lot of passion for. Um, and uh, tell us what it is. It's a uh, Audi Quattro. Um, 1986 gotcha. in Lassa Green. Um, yeah, it's one of those cars. Um, my dad had a couple of Quattros, um, and I grew up with a group being rallying. Yes, but um, well, you got yourself into trouble in a Quattro once upon a time, didn't you? Yes, I did, yes. <laughs> we were very focused on yes, this. Yes, yeah. Now the police were very understanding. Yes. So. Uh, and quite, actually they were quite, uh, what do you call it, uh, thankful as well by the sounds of what happened. Yes, yeah, yeah. The policeman that drove the car home eventually um, <laughs> took a while to take it home. So, <laughs> Funny that. Yes. Yeah, half a tank of petrol. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, so this coming in, is this a new new client or? Yeah, new client. He's, um, uh, he reached out to me last month. Um, he's having some minor paintwork done on it um, and then he's bringing it to me hopefully the end of June mm -hmm. um, to spend a few days here and then it'll be going, it'll be Back it, 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 South it, Coast isn't it? Yeah, uh, Plymouth I think, Plymouth or Portsmouth um, and then it's going to be hitting the shows this, this year oh, okay. hopefully if they're open. Yes, um, indeed. Yeah, so it's just one of those cars that I just love. Get, gets you tingling, gets yeah. you tingling. Yeah. So no, it sounds like it's a, you know, everything is building up and getting there and, and you're saying you've done your best week or your best month? Yes, yes. Ever? Yeah. Ever, ever. Um, part, partly due to your able. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, things are really, really sort of accelerating and I'm getting some, again, some awesome clients and mm -hmm. lovely cars. Um, no, it's yeah, it's going, good fun. Going well. And it's really nice to see that post COVID and all this jazz going on, you know, that you it is possible to bounce back and, you know, if anything, bounce higher as a consequence and, and just sort of uplift and, and go for it. And, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, the, this new unit is is very cool. We've got some new flooring from Elite Modular Flooring who came along. Yeah. And uh, I've been to a couple of units now uh, which have got them on and it looks the business. And again, you've got your custom built logo that may or may not be within camera. Um, and then you've got some really nice touches back there. You've got little, you've set up a board and again, we have flash photos and everything of, of how you have four different timers for doing coatings. Yes. Um, and then you've got a pad of some description that then ties into your able. I've got to really learn the name probably. Your able. Your able. Yes. Um, to uh, give you kind of a lowdown on the cars and your pre inspection, post inspection stuff. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. You click on a job, yeah. um, that goes into the job, it tells the technician exactly what he's got to do mm -hmm. and he can tick that off as he goes. So and that's a really, really nice system. And it's what most details use a whiteboard for, but it's yes. electronic, so it, it works nicely. Cool, well, thank you very much for inviting me over. Thank you. I wish you the very best of luck. Um, and as I say, it's May now, so we're, we're at the beginning of the, of the busy season, so yes. to speak. Um, and uh, this Ferrari does look absolutely stunning. What have you done to this Ferrari? This just came in for um, just a, a going over. It's been in storage over lockdown. Yeah. Um, so it's been in storage. We just went over it and just just making it look nice. Bit of a fluff. Yes. 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 Lovely. Yeah. Cool. Well, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank and we will much. be back soon, I am sure.